Hi guys, my goodness, when it comes to callers to Nick Ferrari's show, it can be difficult to determine if they are pranksters or if they're real people. Case in point, this guy called Paul, who phoned in to say that he's a long-time Labour voter, but is considering switching to the Tories over the small boats and immigration issue, which he clearly doesn't understand. Now, if Paul is a real caller, then the situation is much worse than we thought. Have a listen to this. I think I think after the Brexit success and just before the budget, this is going. What, what wait a minute? Brexit success? What is he talking about? Brexit success? Unless he's talking about the Windsor framework here, which is not a Brexit success. But let's continue. It's going to be an election pioneering move, but um, I think the argument is why don't they get a visa? But refugees go about it their own way, don't they? Who goes about it their own way? I'm so sorry. Refugees, they, Re they, 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 they don't go through legal means. Oh, you. What are you talking about? Okay, it's not refugees, it's asylum seekers. So what you do is you make an asylum claim. You arrive in the country, you make an asylum claim. If it's successful, then you move on to refugee status. If it's unsuccessful, you're deported. That's nothing to do with visas. If you want to live and work in the UK, uh, you need to apply for a visa or the company that's going to employ you needs to apply for a visa. So if you want to work in the NHS or hospitality or in care, you need to apply for a visa or the company that's going to employ you need to do that. That's completely unrelated to asylum seekers. You mean people will still come, what you mean they'll try and come in through trucks again is that what you're saying yeah 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 i see and well they they i mean the way they were able to stop that of course was heat detectors so that if you i understand i'm not a lorry driver but if you come in through dover or felix or anywhere else they have this rather uh, rather advanced technology and they can find out if there are people in the back of your truck so they kind of stop that it's it's how comfortable or otherwise you are with what would appear to be removing these people's any chance to a legal appeal. They will just go and you're off to Rwanda while your case is considered or another country. How comfortable you are with that? I think I think it's pretty extreme putting them to Rwanda, but the thing is, that's what the government's doing and now they're going to make it even more difficult. But I think they've, they may be the Conservative government's had enough, so mm. they're, they're doing this for the election, benefit of their election um, um, votes. Would you vote Conservative as a result of this? I was always a lifelong Labour supporter and I've spoiled my ballot paper with Lord Palmerston, but I might vote Conservative. <laughs> really, this is where I, I struggle to understand whether this is a prank call or whether this is a legitimate call. Because he starts off by saying, well, towards the end of the call, he, he says, the Tories are doing this in order just to win votes. And then he's asked, would you support it? And he says, yeah, I probably would. <laughs> What the hell? Yeah, I like being conned. Uh, I like being, conf uh, I like being uh, uh, tricked into voting a particular way. You know, the Tories are doing this to trick people. They're using this this issue to, you know, they're weaponizing this issue in order to convince people to vote for them. Are you going to vote for it? Yeah, I probably will. <laughs> this is, please, please, if Paul, if you're listening to this, Please contact me on Twitter and tell me this is a prank call. This has to be a prank call. Let me know in the comment section, guys, what you think, if it's a prank call or not. As always, your comments are greatly appreciated. Thanks a lot.